What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Rhyperior Trick Room team that also features Typhlosion Sun Squad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button, join the Jeans community, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of my content. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Rhyperior, probably one of the best Trick Room Pokemon in this game. It's super slow and hits like an absolute truck. We gave it the Life Orb as item. It's also rocking out with Lightning Rod as its ability, and then a great move set of Rock Slide, Drill Run, both for Stab. Our coverage move is going to be Fire Fang, and then we have Protect for our fourth and final move. Like I said, this Pokemon's an absolute menace. Once you get him in Trick Room, he's just going to be able to dominate the battle left and right. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Trick Room setter. It is going to be Bronzong. Probably one of the best Trick Room setters in this game. So we have the best Trick Room Pokemon alongside with the best Trick Room setter in the game. Really cool Pokemon, Steel and Psychic type with Trick Room, Gyro Ball, Hypnosis, put Pokemon to sleep, and last but not, Protect. We got Levitate as its ability, and the item it is going to be holding is that Mental Herb. So, you know, this thing cannot be taunted turn one and just cancel out its Trick Room. So, if they want to taunt me, we'll pop the Mental Herb, we'll still be able to pop the Trick Room. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be Typhlosion. Everybody loves Typhlosion. Such a cool Pokemon. We're rocking the Choice Scarf as its item with the Flash Fire ability, and then a great moveset for a Choice Scarf Typhlosion with Eruption, Burn Up, Focus Blast, and Extra Sensory. So, we got two coverage moves, and then we got two heavy hitting stat moves. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Hariyama. And Hariyama can work good in two situations. If we want to just go Sun Squad, we can bring Hariyama in there for Fake Out Control and all that good stuff. Or if we want to roll him in Trick Room, he is a slow Pokemon, so he can tear it up in there as well. We got Fake Out for Flinches, Close Combat for Stab, Knock Off the Takeoff Items, and Protect for its final move. We got the Guts as its ability, so we got the Flame Orb as its item. Fifth Pokemon on squad is Victory Bell. Can I have a Sun Squad without Victory Bell? Victory Bell is so good in this game. So, so good. We gave it the Citrus Berry. Normally, I like the Rock Life Orb, but I gave it the Vibe Period instead. So, I gave this thing the Citrus Berry. We got Chlorophyll as its ability. So, you know, it can double its speed in the sun. And then, last but not least, this amazing move set of Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb for Stab, Solar Beam, and then we got Weather Ball, which is we'll change into Fire Move whenever we hop into the, the Drought. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Drought Pokemon. It's going to be Ninetales, Heat Wave Protect, Solar Beam, will -Wiss, alongside with the Drought ability. And last but not least, we gave it the Focus Dash as item. So, really cool team here. Cannot wait to get rolling. We can go in two different ways with the Trick Room, or we can fly out with the Sun Squad. But guys, there's the team preview. Let's hop to that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins with it. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a really cool team. This guy is Frostlast, Tentacruel, Licky Licky, Salamence, Heatran, and Heracross. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? Should I rock out with the Sun Squad or get the Trick Room? I feel like either or is a great option. I really do. It, it, they're, they're both such a good option. So, you know, I'm going to roll in the Trick Room here. Pop the Bronzong, pop the Rod Period, bring Hariyama in the back. And then last but not least, just have this Choice Scarf type to kind of clean up the mess in the back end right once trick room ends we can throw out high poison we can get rolling from there so i'm gonna lock it in i'm gonna lock it down and we're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one but if you guys haven't seen my most recent pokemon sword and shield video or my youtube short that i announced i just announced my partnership with short circuit gaming it's my brand new sponsorship definitely go check them out i have all the links down in the description below we're going to be having awesome collab content over there and extra jeans content so if you guys want to make sure you stay up to date with that go follow everything down in the link in the description below scg short circuit gaming go go follow them go follow them i'm telling you guys we have some big things coming we have some fun things going i'll give you guys a little hint we might be playing some rocket league with some professional players maybe maybe i don't know yet we're talking about it we're talking about it definitely be fun so go follow them on all their channels Go follow them on all their channels. But uh, we're rocking out here. He has Frostlass and Heatran as a lead. And you know what? I'm just going to protect. I think it's just an easy drop of a, a Trick Room, right? I think we just pop a nice little Trick Room. And we roll up from there, protect, and then I get going with that battle, right? Because then I can drill run the uh, Heatran and just Gyro Ball into the Frostlass. Really do like that turn. He's going to go for a Shadow Ball here. Ooh, that's, looking a little, that's looking a little scary, but you should be able to soak that up. Oh, God. We, we're dead. Heat Wave's coming in, isn't it? Dodge it. Dodge it, Bronzong. Dodge it, Bronzong. That's real tough. Oh no. Oh no, that, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. That's a huge problem right there. That is a huge problem. That's a huge problem. That is a huge problem. That's a huge problem. Do we go in here? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna drop a rock slide. Okay, wow, so we don't have Trick Room. Let's look at Scary. We do not have Trick Room. I'm surprised he was able to dump on my, my boy like that. And then from here, you know, I can just drop a, uh, a rock slide. I could rock slide. I think Rockside's gonna be play. Yeah, we're gonna drop a Rockside, and I'm just gonna fake out onto uh, the Heat Gem right here. Just pop my guts and kind of get rolled from there. But yo, that's tough. Dude. Right off the rip, destroying my Trick Room Pokemon. Only if I didn't protect. 
Lightning Protect, he could have been thriving. He's going to withdraw Frost Lash. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Who's he going to go into from here? He's going to go into Salamence. Okay. We're dropping a rock. And Intimidate's going to come out here. That's a strong Intimidate. That's a really good Intimidate. I'm not even going to lie. It's a great Intimidate call by him. Great, great Intimidate call. Big Out's going to come through here. Uh, yeah, we send it that way. And we're going to be able to drop a nice little, little rock slide here. Nice, lovely little rock slide. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. How much damage are we really doing? Not bad. Not bad, yeah. Not bad whatsoever. We like that. We like that a lot. So Guts is going to trigger. Now we pose a threat on onto with both these Pokemon. We're super bulky, and we can hit rather hard. So I'm just going to drop another Rock Slide, and then I think I just close combat and take out the C-Train, right? Got to be my play. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. This one's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be close, but yo, he took out my Trickering Pokemon. I got to him from there. Rock Slide's going to poke here. He's looking for flinches with that. He's definitely looking for flinches. We're hoping he's not going to get any. And what's he going to go into here? Heat Wave? Flash Cannon. Gonna come out. He's going to hit up on my Rhyperia, and Rhyperia gets, gets slapped. He gets slapped on. That's no fun. That is no fun. But all we need here is uh, not to be flinched. Cool. So we're not flinched. We take out Heat Train, no problem. And it comes down to like a. Uh, no, not a 2v2. He sells Frost Slice. It's down to a 3v2. We still have our lovely. Uh, our lovely Choice Scarf. Typhlosion in the back, which could be really good. It could be really, really good. It would be really good. But I don't know if we can take out Heat Train with him. That's, that's our problem. That's our problem. Can we take out. Not Heat Train. Salamence with an eruption. We have no sun, but Frost Ice is going to come out here. Frost Ice comes out here. I'm going to double down into this uh, Salamence. Because if that thing stays in here, it is not eating up in eruption. Not one bit. I'm going to go there, and I'm just going uh, to hit this thing with a knockoff. I'm going to hit this lovely little Pokemon with a knockoff. Hopefully, Typhlosion can outspeed, and we can just do some big damage and get rid of the Frost Ice. That could be a great turn for us. But I think that Salamence... No, Salamence is probably not a choice. I doubt it's Salamence's is a choice. The only reason I thought that is because I usually choice my assignments in BDSP. He's just really, really good. It's really powerful. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He doesn't have the Flash Fire anymore. Eruption comes out first. Can we just get rid of that Frost Lash? Can we just say bye-bye to that Frost Lash? Oh, we pick up the double kill. Yo, Typhlosion coming in hot, baby. Typhlosion coming in hot. Bringing the heat. Let's go. Let's go. That's such a huge turn. Now we can go into another Eruption, outspeed whatever Pokemon he has, and get off as much damage as we can. That is huge. That is huge. And we still have Hariyama. So the Trick Room Squad is prevailing right here without even using Trick Room. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Who's his final Pokemon going to be? Something that we can dump on. Licky. Oh, it's over with. It is over with. I got a Hariyama out here. Hariyama came to play. So we're just going to stay with our Eruption because, you know, we're choosing that. And then Close Combat is going to fly through here and finish off the battle. I do not think Licky Licky can take out my Hariyama. If not, he's going to have to eat up two Eruptions. Which I, don't think he's, I don't think he can do. Yeah. More than half. And we outspeed him anyway. Close combat comes through here. GG. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Battle number one in the bag. Didn't even need the trick. This is what I love about playing BDSP ranked double battles. It's just so much fun because you're going up against so many cool teams. Look at the team that we're going up against. Arcanine, Zapdos, Yamega, Hitmonlee, Muck, and my boy Sharpedo. Everybody knows Sharpedo is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Extra Drill, Sharpedo, Sceptile. Oh, they're, they're, they're like the, they're, they're my little three. They're my little three. Even though there are some Pokemon that can compete with them, they're just like my main three. They're my main three. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? Weather could be really good for us. And I think we're just going to go straight into weather. Nine Tails, Victory Bell, run it alongside with Typhlosion. And then uh, bring Hariyama in the back. Hariyama's just very versatile with both either the Trick Room Squad or just uh, the Sun Squad. So I feel like Sun can really uh, power through us here. And we can rock out with this battle. I do indeed dig it. I do indeed dig it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Yo, battle number one was solid. We tried getting off that Trick Room. He absolutely dumped on my Bronzo. Heat Wave Shadow Ball. He was like, nah, son, get out of my face. Absolutely dumped on me. It was a huge problem. It was a huge problem. But uh, we went from there and we kind of cleaned up the battle. Typhlosion came in the back end with that Choice Scarf. Outsped everything and just ripped into that Salamence and Frost Lance and pretty much won us the game. He's going to go into Sharpedo and Hitmonlee, which I'm totally fine with. Because from here, I can just drop a nice lovely will o onto this Hitmonlee. And then I can just go straight into a lovely Solar Beam right into Sharpedo. Tell him to go home. Tell him to go home. Sharpedo's going to protect you, son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Can uh, Ninetales outspeed you? Ninetales, can you outspeed, please? Just so my just so my victory bell don't go down. Just so my victory bell don't go down. So he's gonna block that solar beam. Outspeed. Outspeed nine tails. I love you. Willow is gonna poke through here. But he's gonna burn on a lovely physical attack. So that's huge. That's huge. As long as he's not lumbering. No lumbering for you, please? No? Thank you. Cool. Come on, least gonna go for a blaze kick. And victory bell dodges it. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is just lovely. So what are you gonna do? What's this guy really gonna do here? He speed boosts. I still don't think he outspeeds me. I still don't think he outspeeds me. You know what? I'm just going to uh, pop a Heat Wave. 
I'm just gonna drop a solar beam. I just think it's a reply 100 percent I just think it's still 100 percent reply. Victory Bell should still outspeed that Sharpedo, and he should just be able to roll us wrong. Sharpedo's so cool. So he's gonna put all the Sharpedo. I'm totally fine with that. We got a solar beam and a heat wave popping in that slot. Who's he gonna send out? Yeah, Mega. That thing's dead. That thing is dead. Get it on out of here. Even though it's shiny and it looks ridiculously cool. It's dead. I apologize. Victory Bell's gonna drop a nice little solar beam. And he's getting after y'all. Like I said, you Sun Squad don't play around. Sun Squad do not play around. Does not. Does not play around. Look at this. Solar Beam coming in hot. Yeet. Solid damage for Solar Beam. But Heat Wave's gonna be able to come in here and clean that one up, right? Heat Wave coming in. Who dodges it? Hitmon. Okay, Hitmon Lee dodges it. Cool. We'll take out the Yamek. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So we take that out. He's still rocking with the burn. He's probably going for another Blaze Kick. And I don't know if Blaze Kick can take me out. He's burned, so I don't know if he can do it. Let's see. High Jump Kick coming in. Maybe he thought I was swapping. That's fine, yo. My boy eats that. My boy eats that. Ninetales ripping through that. And we get off another turn. So. You might go back into Sharpedo and go for Protect. And if that's the case, you know, I'm just going to... Ooh, it's going to be Zap. Zip Zap's coming in here. Zip Zap's coming in here. I'm not going to really worry about the Hitmon Lee. Considering it's burned, we can kind of just roll off from there. I just think we got... Uh, just going to a nice level Heat Wave here. And I can throw that thing to sleep. Or I can Sludge Bomb. I'm going to throw it to sleep. Night, night, Zap. Those. Go to bed. Go to bed. Are you protecting it? It's going to Wide Guard. It's going to Wide Guard. Okay, we're putting your Zap to sleep. So it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Night, night. <laughs> night, night, yo. Victory Bell is so good. Like I said in the team preview, I said Victory Bell is like the best drought Pokemon out there. It's so good. Puts Pokemon to sleep, does ridiculous amounts of damage, and kind of just rolls it out the battle from there. But uh, how should we play this one? I don't know. If, do we think he's going to go for another move? I do not think he goes for another Y Guard. Like, there's no shot he goes for another Y Guard. So I could play it safe and just go into Solar Beam, but I don't think he goes to another Y Guard. So I'm going to pop that Heat Wave. I'm just going to launch a Sludge Bomb over on the slot. But yo, we are thriving with the Sun Squad. The Sun Squad is buzzing. It is buzzing. But the drought does end soon, so I'd rather get off uh, a little bit more damage here. But we are sitting in the in, in the in the fancy. We are sitting in the fancy here. Zapdos is probably going for protect. It's still asleep. We're gonna drop a nice lovely sludge bomb. We're gonna chip up some damage there. Nice little chip there. And again, he didn't go for the wide guard like I predicted. So we can drop this free heat wave and chip up some more damage. That's gorgeous. Blaze kick comes through here. Can you eat that? You can. And you have the citrus berry. And you have the Citrus Berry. I think we have one more turn left in the drought, which is huge for us. Which is huge. It is lovely. Should be able to pick up a double coach by going into a Sludge Bomb and Heat Wave. I think he is going to Y-Guard this one. Oh. I really do. I really do think he Y-Guards. So, you know what? I'm going to just do this. I'm going to drop this Sludge Bomb. I do think he Y-Guards this turn. Watch him Y-Guard. Watch, watch us just out. We're just, we're just playing with our food at this point. He's going to Y-Guard. No, he just cancels his battle. Let's get it. We're going up against another banger of a team. Check this team out. Gastrodon, Tyranitar, Manetric, Sableye, Armada, who is just such a cool boss Pokemon, and Omastar. Is this Omastar? Yeah. Or is it Omanite? No, Omanite is the first evolution. This is Omastar over here. Yeah, because look at his face. It kind of looks like a starfish. We're digging it. We're digging it. But yo, that second battle, we dominated in there. We just had the victory belt and the nine tails sweep that battle out, and we just outplayed our opponent from there. But third and final battle, let's grab ourselves a perfect record. I'm going to lead the Trick Room Squad because we didn't get Trick Room off in the first battle. And I really want to get it off. So we're going to go in with Trick Room Squad. We're going to bring, uh, I think, Hariyama Typhlosion. Same squad as the first one. I'm with it all day. Considering we legit just showed off the nine tails of victory belt all on their own in one battle, I think they use like all their moves. We were just thriving out there. <laughs> it works so perfectly. It works so perfectly. But I saw my opportunity battle number two. I was like, I gotta go into Sun Squad. Let's get rolling with it. But he's gonna go into Oma Star and uh, Sableye here. So Sableye can fake out. Uh, what do we do here? Do we still protect? Or do we just stay in here? I think we have to protect my boy right here. Protect, and we're gonna go for Trick Room. We're gonna go for the Protect and Trick Room. We'll see what he does. He's gonna protect his Omastar. Yo, that's huge. As long as he's not faking out my bronze on. What's Sableye doing? What is Sableye? We can get off a free trick room. This might be a good turn for us. He's gonna go for the Rain Ants. Okay. I'm cool with that. That thing's gotta be Swift Swim. I think that thing's Swift Swim. And I'm with it all day. Because you know what? We're taking speed. We're getting ready to roll out here. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games here. Oh, this thing can go use an after you, doesn't it? Doesn't it have or it can quash me? There's no bueno. Can quash me. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this drill run here. And I'm going to try to Hypnosis this Just in case it wants to... Wants to quash like my Rhyperior. Let's see what he does. You know Will-O-Wisp. How dare you? How dare you? Use Will-O-Wisp on me. Little Prankster Booger. Little Booger. Bronzong's going to Hypnosis and it connects. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're not dealing with the same. Mwah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Huge turn for us. We put that thing to sleep. And we're going to drop a nice little control. 
Third one's probably not gonna KO because we're burned, but still, we got the thing asleep, which is, which is just lovely. It's a lovely little turn. He slumped. Slumped Omastar. Omastar, however you want to pronounce it. That's huge that we land this hypnosis because isn't hypnosis like 60% accuracy? But from here, I'm just gonna drop the rock side. Look at this accuracy. Where's it at? 60. Woo! We lucked out with that. And we're gonna gyro ball over onto the side here. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So solid turn for us so far. We still have the Hariyama in the back to clean up trick room stuff, especially when what's called goes down. When Rhyperior does go down, because he's probably gonna go down soon. Omastar is gonna be slumped. We're gonna be able to drop a rock side and gyro ball. And this thing's gonna go for taunt. That's totally fine. We're mental herb and we're attacking anyway. We are attacking anyway. Look at this. Look at you waste a turn. Look at that mental herb. He's probably like, dude, wasted a turn. <laughs> gyro ball's gonna fly here. Chip up some damage onto this thing, and then we're just gonna go into a lovely little rock side. Get it, right here. Get it, dog. Another rock side. I don't think I can KO there. I might be able to KO the save line, but it's not gonna be able to KO that Omastar. So I'm gonna have to double down that Omastar with a rock side and a gyro ball here. The rock side again, popping it, and then gyro ball gonna fly over. On. Hopefully Omastar stays asleep. This will be his. Uh... Oh, he might wake up here. He does wake up. He's gonna protect. And he's going to protect. That's totally cool. That is totally fine. This thing's gonna go for a will o and he's gonna burn my bronze on. <laughs> he's just burning my bronze on. Trying to waste out trick room turns, and if I can get off like two turns maybe in trick room, Hariyama, that could be good. I don't know if we can. Rockside's gonna poke here. Can he hit the Sableye, please? Let's go. Sableye should go down here, right? Cool. Sableye gets dumped on. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think two turns left in trick room. Because he went for a drill run, two Rocksides. Might be one. It might be two. I'm trying to think. We popped Trick Room. We went to two Gyro Balls and a Hypnosis. This might be last turn. But I think that, that turn that Trick Room like, popped off on, count it as one. So this might be the last turn now. And we cannot pop another one because... Oh no, are we taunted? No, we are not because we Mental Herb. We did Mental Herb. So from here, we're Rock Sliding. I'm going to go into a Gyro Ball. We're doubling down this. We are doubling down into this lovely Pokemon because I would love to get rid of this Omastar. Omistar. We need this rain to end. We really do. We need this rain to end for my top forge to come out here for some big damage. The gyro ball pokes through here. We're gonna be able to do that. Rock side's gonna connect and bye bye almost. That's solid. And we have a chance of flinching. We do have a lovely chance of flinching here. Not bad turns for us. Hopefully we get one more turn left in trick room. If not, I'm gonna try to pop it next turn. Let's see if we get that flinch off. Flinch him. Oh! Oh! We love it! We love it! Is trick room gone? Is trick room gone? It's both my Pokemon burned. A little biscuit. Yeah, Trick Room's gone, so we're popping another Trick Room. We're going for it. We're going to pop another Trick Room. Actually, will that benefit us? I'm trying to think, will that even benefit us? Let's see who he throws out here, because we know it's final two Pokemon. It's going to be Armaldo. So Armaldo's going to be that Pokemon, and I think we might be super effective on him. We're not. But still, we can do some big damage on him. Armaldo. Is it going to be worth popping the Trick Room? That's the real question. I don't think it is. I don't think it is with our Pokemon in the back end. But you know what? I'm just going to drop a Rock Side, and I'm going to try to put Armaldo's. Actually, I'll try to put Gash on Sounds a little bit of pain. A little bulky Pokemon. He's gonna drop a rock side. And he's gonna connect on my Rhyperior. Rhyperior's gonna be able to soak. We're looking to not flinch here. And we'll see what he goes for there. He's gonna go for a Scald, and that's fine. That's fine. So Rhyperior's gonna drop out here. Can we land his hypnosis? This could be a huge hypnosis. A very, very big hypnosis. We can land it, but it's 60 accuracy. And we missed it. Rough turn for us. Rough, rough turn for us. But he knows that we uh that we have it, so he might he might start going after us. I'm bring out my Hariyama. I can fake out this turn. And who do I fake out here? That's a real question. Who am I faking out? Armaldo? I feel like we have to fake out the Armaldo. I'm gonna fake out the Armaldo. And we're gonna go, go for a Hypnosis over here. I'm not gonna pop a Trick Room. I'm not gonna pop a Trick Room. His range should be ending soon. Unless that thing was a... Uh, unless that thing was a... Uh, what is it? Had a Damp Rock. Which I hope not. He's gonna go for a Scald. That's totally fine. My boy Bronze should be able to soak that up. And then be able to pop this Hypnosis. Oh my god. Oh for 2? Come on! Come on, Bronzong. I'm banking on you, dude. I'm counting on here. I'm definitely counting on here. I'm gonna drop a close combat. I'm gonna go after Sarmal, though. I want this thing dead. Can I go for another one? Yeah, we're gonna go for another one, because he, he knows that we're posing a threat right here. He knows that we're posing a threat. Rockside's gonna come in here, and I swear, y'all, if we're flinching him, cry a little bit. Even though I did get a flinch on him. Let's see how this one plays it. My Hariyama flinches. He gets off the skull. Can we eat that? You should be able to eat that, right? No, was that a crit? That seemed like a crit. It was not. Absolutely dumped on me. Can the rain stop? Thank you. The rain stopped. Beautiful. Now I can bring out my boy. Now I can bring out my boy. Dude, Hariyama flames. Dude. That's a little whack. That is a little whack. We'll bring out Typhlosion. And then I can decide if I want to go for or what I want to go for here. Typhlosion coming in hot. 
That Flosion coming in hot. She'll be fast on the field with that Choice Scarf. And you know what? I'm just going to go here. I just think Eruption's the play, right? Eruption's definitely the play. Good old Eruption. Eruption into close combat. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. Is Typhoid going to come and clutch again? He's just a beast. He's just a beast. Look at that. Look at that damage right there. That's gorgeous damage. That's gorgeous damage. Rockside's going to fly through here. As long as you don't get the flinch. Oh my god, he dumped on my Typhlosion. Dumped on my Typhlosion. As long as he doesn't get the flinch, I think we should be fine. He gets a crit on my... What is going on here? What is going on? First of all, Gastron should be asleep. And he... Oh. That's an L, right? That's GG's. That's a GG. That's GG's. Yo, back-to-back -back flinches and back-to-back -back miss hypnosis. That hurts. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. We're going to need him to miss a rock slide. We're going to need this dude to miss this rock slide here. That one hurts the soul. It really does. That hurts the soul. Rock slide's going to come in here and he connects it again. We should be able to eat up that one. No, we don't need to eat up that one. That's rough. That is real rough. And he gets a crit on my type formation. RNG does his dirty in battle number three. But hey, we still grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. There is, ladies and gentlemen, another solid battle for BDSP Double Battles. Absolutely rocked out with the team. Got to show off the Rhyperia and Bronze on a Trick Room combo, alongside with the Typhlosion Victory Bell Sun Squad combo. Really works well. We grabbed ourselves a winning record. Probably should have grabbed ourselves a perfect record, but hey, RNG definitely did us dirty in that third and final battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.